Oh, uh, down smash. Not able to get the ledge guard. Oh! Earlier on, we saw this match happen, and it was the 2-1 for Anality, playing a mix of uh, Kazuya and Terry versus uh, Zerus here. So we'll have to see if Zerus's Yoshi is able to find the adaptation here needed to advance to Losers Finals, or if they're going to get double eliminated here at the back portion of the bracket by Anality. Um, you know, Anality, it, pretty strong contender, very frequently up there in the top three for us, so... Would not be surprised. And Aladdin going right into the Terry this time. Not going to fool around with the Kazuya in this matchup. Makes sense. When we saw that happen earlier, it was uh, it was a rough way to go. So we are going to go right in here. And uh, wouldn't be surprised we're starting PS2. We are. So let's see if uh, Zeris can find this uh, find the set here. Last set, there, early on, Zeris was playing the spacing very, very well. Not giving up a whole lot of damage, not giving up a whole lot of percentage, but once those go moves came online, uh, just the threat of that seemed to really start to shut down Trish's gameplay just a little bit. Uh, but, you know, there's one way to deal with that, and that is try to find those stocks as close to 100% as possible. And, oh, the eggs are going to cover the crack shoot there. Buys Trish a little bit of time to get back onto the stage. Standing dodge on the grab, perfectly timed, and just racking up damage. Go moves are online, gonna roll through Buster Wolf, but no punish available. Zerus trying to apply the pressure, up smash, narrowly gonna miss. That gives Anality a chance to get in with the Buster Wolf and almost find the stock first, even though Zerus honestly has been playing this so dominantly the first part of it. Up smash, not quite gonna kill either. That's gotta be frustrating. Zerus twice now has been so close to finding that stock and being out of the situation. Missing that ground pound is going to hurt, but Anality opting to punish with down smash is not going to kill. The power guys are though punishing Driss for trying to float up high a little bit too long. Driss is going to really have to be aware of that when Go is online. They can't float around in that space above Terry as much as they would before the Go moves are online. So Driss now definitely seems to try to be slowing it down and figure out their way in, but Anality now is applying the pressure instead to not let that happen. This grab though. Is going to put Anality in a rough spot, this juggle situation. Not where Anality wants to be, but able to get out of it, find the jab combo into the Buster Wolf again. Another solid set of percent there. This damage is just racking up, and Yoshi almost permanently trapped in a shield, it felt like, with those power waves. Anality capitalizing that, gets in with the power dunk. Another stock for Anality. Just running away with this set. Rising tackle off of that up air, and Anality is just commanding this match right now. And it seems like Zerus is trying to pull back and really play more defensively here. Trying to hold shield a little more. It's just not working. That's going to be the three stock from Anality. One more power geyser. The go moves came back on, came online for one stock. And they, they gone and went with the game. So this is a, uh, that is not what you want to have. Loser semifinals, game one. Now your bracket life is on the line here in this next match, and you have to find the kind of adaptation that gets you back from a three-stock loss to winning the game. Uh, I think a lot of it, you know, I I do feel like part of part of the uh, part of the the counterplay and part of the mind games here is that you do you're, you're kind of tempted to just be a lot more defensive when you're dealing with Terry with those go moves online. Um, but as we saw, you know, Zerus was pulling back and trying to do that. And it instead just kind of allowed Anality to safely poke and prod at Zerus's defenses until they could find that way in to hit the Power Geyser, to hit the Buster Wolf, or even just to hit, you know, a, a, another good solid combo with their their normals. You may just need to be, you know, more aggressive here in Terry. Those go moves are fairly risky. They're fairly high end lag. If you can keep the pressure on and make it so that they're going to use them, they're taking a risk, then if they miss, you've got a solid punish and you can try to get them out of that state and take those moves back off the board. We're going to Kalos here for game two, so I think that definitely signifies that Zeris wants that extra stage space to be able to camp and just play keep away. Prod with those eggs. Maybe not, though. I mean, the gameplay suggests that Zeris still wants to go in. 
finality though, just finding all the right answers to stop that from happening. No end lag because of the power dunk ending just before the ground that meant finality could set up a second jab combo into a second power dunk. Pulls the jab lock, another this just really playing this advantage state well now. Oh, it's a little too low with the spike though. Finality has an opportunity to get back into neutral there and takes the stock too with another power dunk. These specials from Anality, they do so much damage. They do so much knockback that, cool. You miss once, you're done. But just like that, hey, Zris, Yoshi's got some moves that you miss once and you're done too. Jab lock into that F smash. You don't come back from that when you're at 140. Absolutely not. Now Zris is back in. Oh, never mind. Anality finds the reversal, punches their way out of it, and, uh, just like that is really keeping Zeris on the back foot still. That platform kind of working against Zeris here because once you're on it, getting down it can be a little tricky. Power dunk gonna send Zeris way back out too. There's no, oh, there is a jump. Never mind. I apologize. Oh, Zeris able to find that up smash though. At that percentage, just, you know, it's just there to extend that combo, get as much damage as possible, but. Oh, wow, just called the jump out of shield and now they threw that power dunk in fairly early. Uh, and Zris maybe trying to jump out of the way to find a punish for it. Instead, he's just going to jump right into it and get slammed. Get up, get up attack very well there. Trying to find the jab lock to find another kill like we saw stock one, but the summon now he's able to get back up before that can happen. Those get up attacks, keeping that from uh, being an option for Zris here. And now he has their go moves online. And with Zris being on their last stock, this is where you're going to see, yeah, Zris trying to play a little bit more defensively here. Buster Wolf does miss this time though. Not a huge punish coming out from Zris though. Zris really needs to like capitalize on those missed go moves at this stage in the game because you are running out of time to find those big punishes. That grab is going to at least send an ality off stage. Zris has the ledge here, might be able to find this stock. Let's see. Not quite. Oh, out of the shield, the jab into the power or the Buster Wolf. Still not quite going to kill. Ground pounded to try to get back onto the stage faster, but. Up on that platform like that, you just cannot be throwing that out there when Power Geyser hits not just up on that platform, but so far above it, too. As soon as that ground pound was locked in, Anality was able to lock in the Geyser to respond, and that end lag meant that Zris got solidly hit.